LC PEG, PEG is go for launch. PLT, LC is go for launch. PLT confirm. LC, PLT, PLT confirms go for launch. Drop on my mark. Three, two, two one. one. Drop. Go for release. Pegasus is away. And drop. Pegasus is away. The ignition of the Pegasus rocket with Cygnus, helping hurricane forecasters understand and predict the intensity of hurricanes. Fin actuator system is working properly to control the flight of the vehicle during stage one. Power buses remain nominal, approximately 30 minutes, 30 seconds. This is the flight. RCO. First motion ignition, first motion time of 1337 colon. Vehicle two is one, now past decimal, max Q. Eight, six, six. Attitude remains That's nominal. 13, approximately 30 colon, seconds. Two one, one, eight, eight, six, six. Attitude remains nominal. Power buses remain strong. All the data coming back. Approximately 10 seconds until stage one burnout. All data coming back looks good. Getting ready for the first stage to burn out right on time. Stage one is burned out. Attitude remains nominal. Coming up on first and second stage separation. Approximately 10 seconds until stage one separation and stage two ignition. Stage two separate, stage one separation. Stage two ignition. Stage two TVC is operating nominally and controlling the flight of the vehicle. Standing by for fairing separation. Power buses remain strong, approximately 20 seconds till fairing deployment. Second stage flight looks good. Fairing separation is confirmed. Attitude remains nominal after successful fairing separation. This animation based on actual flight data. Approximately 30 seconds, excuse me, 20 seconds until stage two burnout. Vehicle is flying down the nominal track, indicating good performance. Stage two is burned out. Attitude remains nominal. Our flight engineer, Steve Hollow. Long coast phase between stage two and stage three. Steve Hollow reporting everything looks good. Here's the actual position of the rocket as it moves down range. And vehicle guidance and performance look excellent through stage two burn. Vehicle systems are performing nominally. We have slightly less than 200 seconds until stage three ignition. Vehicle continues nominally as we're in the stage 2-3 coast phase. We're now that the L-11 is returning to Cape Canaveral after a successful deployment. All systems remain nominal on the Pegasus Cygnus vehicle, approximately two minutes until stage three ignition.
vehicle is now reorienting in preparation for stage three ignition. Power buses remain strong. Vehicle continues to reorient. Vehicles on target. We've got stage three ignition coming up at launch plus six minutes, 56 seconds. Proper attitude for stage three ignition, which is approximately 60 seconds away. Standing by. Approximately 30 seconds until stage three ignition. All systems remain nominal on the Pegasus vehicle. Stage three TVC is initiated. Stage two separation. Stage three ignition. TVC is operating nominally, following command and controlling the flight of the vehicle. Attitude remains nominal during stage three burn. We've had acquisition through Carew. Vehicle systems remain nominal during stage three burn. Have loss of signal from the Cape here in about 30 seconds. About 15 seconds after that, we'll lose data from the uh, Jupiter Inlet Station. And Carew now is tracking. Attitude remains nominal. Report that we have telemetry from downrange sites in French Guiana. Stage three burnout. Vehicle is now in orbit. Vehicle is now reorienting into the payload deployment attitude. Vehicle systems operating normally. Vehicle is reorienting for payload deployment, which will occur in approximately uh, four minutes or six minutes. Both tracking and then is at Carew. Report solid lock, good data. Yep, launch. And we are now receiving telemetry from Kness in French Guiana. Vehicle is stable in its payload attitude, payload deployment attitude. We'll remain in this position for uh, approximately 220 seconds until the first payload deployment event occurs.
We're now 600 seconds into the flight of the Pegasus Cygnus vehicle, approximately three minutes until the first payload separation event. And we're now at L plus 10 minutes, 30 seconds into the flight of the Pegasus. All Cygnus observatories on the Pegasus vehicle, and they will be deployed in pairs at approximately 30 second intervals. First deployment at L plus 13.04. Vehicle systems are operating nominally approximately 11 minutes into the Pegasus Cygnus mission. Data from Cygnus indicates the spacecraft are healthy, and as we've just heard Steve Hollow report, the uh, launch vehicle is also in good shape. About two minutes away from first deployment. Power buses remain strong. First spacecraft separation less than a minute away. Approximately 60 seconds until the first Cygnus Observatory deployment event, GNC reports an excellent orbit within one sigma of pre-flight predictions. And the spacecraft uh, on the third stage almost directly a beam of French Guiana. Standing by for first deployment. Approximately 20 seconds until the first Cygnus deployment event. Cygnus observatories A and C have been successfully deployed. Approximately 20 seconds until observatories E and G. Cygnus observatories E and G have been successfully deployed. Approximately 20 seconds until observatories F and H. Two remaining deployment sequences coming up. Altitude 300 Observatory miles. F and H have been successfully deployed. Approximately 20 seconds until the last deployment event to deploy observatories Bravo and Delta. Spacecraft velocity now 16,124 miles an hour, 319 miles in altitude. Observatories B and D have been successfully deployed. Coming up on Pegasus transmitters off. Pegasus transmitters are now off. This ends the successful mission to place the Cygnus observatories in orbit. Congratulations, Cygnus. Good hunting.